we introduce see-through compressive light field displays with holographic optical elements, called as additive light field displays. The additive light field display is a novel type of compressive displays based on addition rather than on either multiplication or rotating polarization. Recently, augmented reality became the most spotlighted technologies with the advances in optical engineering and computer science. For instance, wearable displays with AR such as Google Glass and HoloLens have attracted considerable public attention. Also, there have been many efforts to realize AR among researchers. Holodesk could interact with users in real time by utilizing Beam Combiner. Pin light display floats virtual images on real world while providing a wide field of view. As one of efforts for realization of AR, we propose the additive light field display. We utilize holographic optical elements as additive layers for compressive displays. Holographic optical elements have transparency, angular selectivity, and ability of wavelength multiplexing. It makes feasible to design projection system with multi-layered screens. The properties of holographic optical elements allow observer to see real objects beyond the display. Holographic optical element is one of the applications of volume holograms. If a diffusing wave is recorded with a reference wave in the photopolymer, it can be reconstructed by the reference wave front. However, if a different wave is incident on the diffuser holographic optical elements, the wave is not diffracted and passes through the DHOE. In the same way, most of real-world scene pass through the DHOEs without diffraction. Therefore, we could utilize DHOEs as see-through projection screens. We stack two DHOE layers to generate independent light fields. First, probe wave 1 passes through DHOE 2 and it is scattered by DHOE 1. On the other hand, Probe wave 2 is diffused only by DHOE2. In short, two independent light fields are generated from DHOE1 and 2. If the illumination sources are incoherent, the light fields are merged into a single light field by addition. Consequently, four-dimensional light field could be reconstructed. We implement a prototype of the additive light field display. Original light fields, simulation results, additive layer images, and display results are demonstrated. In the prototype 1, two additive layer are separated by 10 mm. While viewing angle is set to 3 degrees, target light fields within 10 degrees are utilized in order to demonstrate definite parallax views. In the prototype 2, two additive layer are separated by 6 mm. In this case, real-size virtual 3D images are generated with viewing angle 10 degrees. Utilizing 5 target light fields we estimate average PSNRs according to the number of layers. The additive light field display shows intermediate display performance among the compressive displays. We employ different optimization methods and compare the results. When trust region or SART algorithm is used, the additive light field display surpasses attenuation-based display. When factorization algorithm is applied for attenuation-based display, the display performance is improved. The additive light field display is almost free from the diffraction effect. Most of compressive displays should consider the diffraction effect since spatial light modulators consist of pixelated structure. On the other hand, DHOE layer does not have pixelated structure. In the figure, the curve indicates validity to neglect diffraction effect caused by spatial light modulators. While the other prototypes of compressive displays are under the diffraction-free zone, our prototype is in the diffraction zone. Still, we could neglect diffraction effects since DHOE layers are relatively free from diffraction.